We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue celebrating Christmas, and we continue giving thanks to the Lord for the gift of His Son. Today, the Church celebrates the Feast of St. John, Apostle and Evangelist. We ask the intercession of St. John that we too may remain faithful to the Lord. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people, people of good goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant, we pray, that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. John. Beloved, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we look upon and touch with our hands concerns the word of life. For the life was made visible, we have seen it and testify to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was made visible to us. What we have seen and heard we proclaim now to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us. For our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this so that our joy may be complete. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are around him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please stand. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O <clears throat> Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When, Peter, when Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> As I mentioned at the beginning of the Eucharist, today, the third day of Christmas, it's still Christmas, by the way, no? until uh, the Epiphany or Baptism of the Lord next January. Today, we celebrate the feasts of St. John, the Apostle, the Evangelist, who, according to some uh, many scholars is the one being referred to in the gospel that we have just read whom Jesus loved the disciple whom Jesus loved among the apostles of the Lord among the twelve it is only Saint John that did not suffer death by martyred, martyrdom he died of old age and according to story, during the last years of St. John, 
when he was already old, he was being carried by his disciples. And every time that St. John would say something, it will always be something like, God is love. Love one another. Yun daw ang laging sinasabi ni San Juan. Ang Diyos ay pag-ibig. Mag-ibigan kayo. Love one another. And <clears throat> if we read no, his letters contained in the New Testament, the central message of his letters, the letters of St. John, is love. God is love. Why was he proclaiming this love? Why was he always telling his disciples to love one another? Because John experienced that love himself. Naranasan niya kung paano siya minahal ni Jesus. Naranasan niya kung paano niya na, naranasan niya kung paano siya minahal ng Diyos. Kaya naman, mula dito sa karanasang ito ng pagmamahal, lagi niyang pinaaalalahanan ang kanyang mga alagad, magmahalan din kayo. God is love. God loves you. Love one another. You know, our human experience has always been like that. We experience something and then we are happy to share it with others. We experience joy and we are very excited to share our joy with others. We experience sadness and we will be stronger if some people will sympathize with our sadness. And when we experience love, we also are excited to share that love. Kaya, hindi ba, yun daw taong nagmamahal o may minamahal, halatang halata. No? Hindi ba? Kinakansyawan yung isang kaibigan nyo, yung mga kasama nyo sa, Uy, in love. No? Hindi, ngingiti ang kayo. Hindi ah, tatanggihan nyo. Hindi ah. Ang anong hindi? Ay, kitang-kita sa mata mo eh. Kitang-kita sa mukha mo eh. No? Blooming ke. No? And I think that is true. When we are full of love, it cannot be but noticed by others. It cannot be but felt by others. In love ka, no? Kasi kitang kita sa mata mo. At yun ang gustong ipahayag ni San Juan, Bauti, ni San Juan Evangelista. Naramdaman niya ang pag-ibig ng Diyos at hindi niya ito sinolo kundi bagkos ito'y kanyang ibinahagi. Kaya yung mga, yung mga taong walang nagmamahal, madalas masungit. No? Okay. Nung po akong batang pare, no, hindi ko nalang babanggitin kung saan. Makakabuhay pa yun eh. No? Meron kaming isang sekretary. No? Ang suplada. No? Ang suplada. No? Pero, nagkaroon ng boyfriend. No? Foreigner. Ha? Afam. No? Okay. Aba, napansin namin, some other days, no? Iba na yung kanyang aura. Hindi na siya masyadong masungit. No? Masungit pa rin, pero hindi na masyado. Pero iba na yung aura niya. Kaya nga binibiro siya eh. Kailangan mo lang palang magkaroon ng boyfriend eh. No? Pero ganun eh. Kapag naranasan natin yung mahalin, mapipilitan din tayong magmahal eh. Yung mga taong hindi nakakaranas ng mahalin, yung hindi minahal ng kanilang mga magulang nung bata pa, 
no miserable ang buhay nang dadamay pa no Saint John experienced God's love and Saint John proclaimed that love faithfully until the end My dear brothers and sisters God loves us God loves you and hopefully once you have personally experienced that love you will be loving yourselves you will also be lovers to others amen Please stand. John was called the beloved disciple because he was the faithful one close to the heart of Christ. Let us pray through the incarnate God revealed in his gospel, the word who is life. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be zealous in her apostolic mission entrusted to her by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may strive to conform our wills to that of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That like St. John, we may have a deep knowledge of Jesus by studying the truths of our faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have the courage to follow Christ to the cross and to the empty tomb, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may share in St. John's gentle love for Our Lady, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of the Word incarnate, as we rejoice in your Son's birth, hear these prayers we make in union with the beloved disciple, our model in Christian life and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation. <laughs> given in human hands of me, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the mm. Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify the offerings we have made, O Lord, we pray, and grant that from the banquet of this supper, we may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal word, just as from this same source you revealed it to your Apostle John, through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught, caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially St. John, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, let us call on our God, the Father, in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us please, pray. Please stand. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the Word made flesh, proclaimed by the blessed Apostle John, may, through this mystery which we have celebrated, ever dwell among us through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the last Wednesday of the year, and every Wednesday we have our healing rosary for the world. And tonight at 9 p.m., we will be led by the community of the Holy Family Parish in Parang, Marikina City, for our weekly healing rosary for the world. So if you are, uh, if you are free, no, I invite you to join us online in praying the rosary through our Manila Cathedral Facebook page. And also, I would like to welcome all of you who came over to celebrate the Eucharist with us. Uh, and also the daughters of Virgin Mary Immaculate. Uh, so please pray for us. Uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>